so the pride is gonna dock right next to us. Alrighty guys, we are heading off the Mardi Gras right now. Good morning guys, today is day four of our cruise. We are in Costa Maya today. I know I'm in an elevator right now. I'm heading up to deck 16 because we're about to pull in. Um, and I woke up and we're, we're just about to pull in. So I'm gonna go and see what's up on the outside decks. Deck 16. So the Costa Maya Pier is right over there. It is 6.30 in the morning. It's very early in the morning. And you can see we are heading towards Costa Maya. Very slowly we will be the first ship to arrive there. And yeah, very excited for today. So there's the Costa Maya Pier over there. You could kind of see a little bit of it going down there. And um, we're currently turning towards it. Mardi Gras actually started turning away from it for a second. Um, and we weren't moving at all. So I don't, I don't know if we were uh, undecided if we should dock in Costa Maya today. Um, because if you aren't able to tell, yeah, you can't see anything. Um, there are some definitely white caps out here. I, I can clearly see a bunch of white caps out here, and uh, they were maybe thinking, oh, is, should we not dock like this because it'd be too hard? So we're gonna, so we're gonna come into, there's this long pier that stretches out that way, and then there's this pier that comes in this way, and we're gonna go on the pier, and we're gonna dock, like, right here, ship facing this way, kind of like. So I think that's the plan for Mardi Gras docking. You guys want to take a guess on what time sunrise is? Well, I'll say right now. It's 6.40 in the morning. Pitch dark. Three, two, one. Sunrise today is at 7.55. So it's going to be dark like this for still a little while, and I feel like, I feel like it should be, it should start lighting up at this time, but no, it really isn't. It's completely dark. And there's Costa Maya. Alrighty guys, we are currently backing up. You can kind of see some of the white caps down there. And we are, yeah, it's rough, and we are trying our best to back in to Costa Maya. We're also kind of thrusting like in towards like the Costa Maya Pier. And then I've got something to show you. We have two ships with us today. Um, the one on the right that looks like it's a little bit closer to us, I'm pretty sure that is the Carnival Pride. And the one all the way over there on the left that is the Carnival Dream. So, those two ships will be joining with us here today in Costa Maya as we're backing into it. So now we're getting close to that uh, Costa Maya Pier. Here it is. And then we have Carnival Pride pulling in over there. And then the Carnival Dream all the way back there. Whoever people crossed their fingers and said, I hope we get into Costa Maya, you guys did a good job on that. It's rough, it's windy, it's choppy, very choppy. But we're docking in Costa Maya today, and I think that's all what matters kind of right now. And I'd just like to say a round of applause to whoever is getting this ship into Costa Maya today. You're doing a great job at it. And they're up there currently getting the ship in. So a round of applause for whoever is uh, uh, thrusting the ship into Costa Maya today. And there's the Carnival Pride over there. Just pulling in about... 
And it looks like that the Carnival Dream looks like it could be turning away. I don't know. Maybe it won't come today due to high wind occurrences. We, we've made it more into the coast of Maya Pier. We'll be thrusting alongside the coast of Maya Pier. Hopefully a successful docking. And that probably goes for the same for the Carnival Pride. I hope they have a successful docking since they're here. The Carnival Dream, it looks, it, Carnival Dream is, uh, is, it's going that way right now. It's not heading towards Costa Maya right now. So the Pride has two options. The Pride is either going to dock right next to us in this pier, or they're going to start thrusting and dock over there. It's going to be one of those two options. So Carnival Mardi Gras is our father right now. The Carnival Dream is our mother. And the uh, the Carnival Pride is our baby. Just because the Pride is the shortest out of all these ships. And the Mardi Gras is the biggest. So it's, a, so it's like a tall dad. And then the Dream is a uh, mother since it's in the middle. And then we have our baby right here. The Carnival Pride. So believe it or not, but the Carnival Pride is one of the last Carnival ships in the fleet that hasn't gotten their uh, paint scheme yet, like uh, Mardi Gras got. Carnival Dream has it, but not Carnival Pride. So that, that's interesting. I wonder when they're going to go and get it. So the Pride is going to dock right next to us. As you can see, it's turning in and it's going to back up alongside with us and I also realized something I messed up that is not the carnival dream I'll tell you that that is a Norwegian ship or it could be Royal Caribbean I'm pretty sure it's a uh, Norwegian though so I really I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you I really don't know what ship that really is now it's becoming pretty close to us this is docks alongside us Carnival Pride is a, a very interesting ship. As you see, not not all old Carnival ships, but they also have a tides pool. They have a inside lanai uh, or promenade that comes out, but it doesn't like stick out of the ship. It's like inside the ship and it wraps around. Their balconies can start as early as deck four, because four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So deck nine is their Lido deck. Um, and then they have a window inside of the carnival funnel. That's interesting. And they all, and they also can have a roof that can close up the main area of the Lido deck if they, if it was like bad weather or anything. That's pretty interesting though. And there are people here saying hello to Carnival Mardi Gras. They're taking pictures. They are taking pictures right there. They're like, yeah, we're a cool ship. So right. Definitely very right. The, the water park opened this early. Also, they have a decent water park. I'm not going to lie. They, it's, actually, it's actually pretty nice. They have the one drop slide and then the yellow slide, which is pretty cool. I consider them having waterworks. It's breakfast time. Carnival Pride is almost completely in. So I guess I never realized, but right over there is the brilliance of the seas. Not Carnival Dream or a Norwegian ship. We literally saw it yesterday in Cozumel. It's here today, but I'm just kind of wondering like, you know, we were um, We were far behind the brilliance of the seas and we arrived here first when the brilliance of the seas was far in front of us It's, arri it's arriving later than us We must have passed it overnight, I guess but Yep, brilliance of the seas and uh, Carnival pride right over there
So it's almost 9 o'clock right now. Our excursion is at 9.30. Um, very soon we're going to be ready to get off the ship. Um, the gangways are open right now. And Brilliance over here is docked. Um, but we're just waiting on some of our uh, family members right now as uh, they are currently getting breakfast. Because uh, they, they got up at around 8 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, um, that's what we're doing today, uh, so we're going to have a fun day today, we're going to segue, can't wait, it's going to be a lot of fun, so yeah, we're just going to wait for them and then we'll get going. Alright guys, it's about 9.06, 9.05, and we are heading on to Costa Maya to go segueing. You know, see everybody down here is waiting to get off the ship. Alrighty guys, we are heading off the Mardi Gras right now. Making our way onto Costa What's the by the uh, Carnival Pride. So here's the Carnival Pride and here's the Carnival Mardi Gras. Guys, we are glad. Yeah. All right, so we are we're all right passing the pride. We got a long way to go until we're down at the end of the Mardi Gras. Since we came out of the forward uh, area, you can just see how rough it is. This ship is bouncing. All right, we're at the end of the Carnival Pride. There's the brilliance of the seas. These ships are rocking. We're almost nearing to the end of the Carnival Mardi Gras. Carnival Mardi Gras. They have different ropes than the other ships. They have these white ropes that are tying up the ship. And here's these two ships right here. Absolutely beautiful here in Costa Maya. And then Brilliance of the Seas over there. Very long pier we're walking down, but you know it's pretty good. I'm walking backwards right now just to get a film of this. Do we consider this the Mayan ruins? Oh. I thought that's what this place was about. Tell me why there is a sailboat out of the water over there. Yeah, you see it all the way over there? It's just, it was capsized. So we've made it to the end of the pier. Here are the three ships, Carnival Mardi Gras, Carnival Pride, and Brilliance of the Seas. As everybody is walking their way over here. Uh, Brilliance is just to start letting people off, and then Pride and Mardi Gras are letting people off too. Alright guys, so they, the tourist is currently walking our, the way towards our segways, so that we can, uh, that one. Our segways. And those fans over there look like a cocoa. Oh my goodness, there are so many blue buses. Blue bus. Blue bus. More blue buses. Lots of blue buses. Check this out, guys. We are in a tractor. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like this. This is actually pretty fun.
Segways right there. There's some there. There's the trolley we just rode in. Now we have these benches that we can sit at and claim our equipment. <laughs> 